This video is brought to you by VideoGamesProfile.com, the website designed to help you discover which video games are best for you. Rev up for Cars 2. In this video, we'll cover the different weight classes in Cars 2. The classes have advantages and disadvantages. Lightning McQueen is a good place to start, being the star of the show and the medium car with an equal amount of power and speed. It's a good idea to start playing with a medium weight class like Lightning McQueen. That's a good way to get used to the cars, the controls, learn the tracks, and learn how to use the weapons, and all those tricks like driving backwards. Though there are different weight classes, the top speeds don't vary that much. Some of them will be a little faster and a little slower, so no matter which car you pick, you're not going to be at a big disadvantage. The tricks are what will make you pull ahead of your friends and family when you're playing this game. Not only will you impress them with jumping up in the air and spinning backwards, sideways, driving at two wheels, and power drifting. Every trick you perform will build up that turbo meter at the bottom. And that's what gives you the speed in this game. The lightweight class, like Team Lightning's Guido, are slower than the other guys. They'll have a harder time catching up, but it's easier for them to access a lot of the secret shortcuts because they can turn a lot quicker without flying off the track. The weapons are another good equalizer in the game. It's good to keep a weapon to ensure when you're near the end of the race and someone sneaks up ahead of you, you can take them out. Using weapons earlier in the race, before the last lap, doesn't really get you too much because it's usually pretty neck and neck until you get to the end. There are different kinds of missions in Cars 2. There's the regular race, some with weapons, some without. There are races where your goal is to take out enemies without worrying about what place you're in. And there are open areas that have no track and are a big free-for-all combat. You might find it easier to play a lightweight class during the race and the heavyweight class during the open areas. One reason is because the lightweight class turns very sharply, very quickly, making it hard to aim sometimes on the wide open levels. But the heavyweight classes turn much more slowly, actually making it easier to aim those weapons. This game is a lot of fun because like most Disney games, the characters get a lot of attention. There are lots of personality in these cars. If they pass somebody, they have something to say about it. If somebody passes you, they'll tell them something about that. If they get hit by a weapon, they'll have something different to say about it and will gab on through the whole race. I know you'll want to play Mater right off the bat, but let me warn you. Make sure you get used to the game before starting with a heavyweight class. Otherwise, you'll find yourself frustrated with the game. Not only will it frustrate you, but it'll upset Mater. Look at him. Does he look happy right now? No, I don't think so. So practice a bit before you play Mater. Bet you can't do this. Time is up. Let's just crush my carburetor on that one. Oh no. It appears there's heavy traffic. And this is Fillmore, man. He's one of my favorite cars in this game. He's in the heavy class and one of the unlockable characters in the game. He's my favorite for a couple reasons. One, I think he's really funny. I like the shape of his car. And he's voiced by George Carlin. Respect my space, man. Now this track is very colorful. I chose to end the video with this track because I thought it was very colorful. It showed the quality of the graphics in the game and to show you how to win with the heavyweight class.
When you're playing with the heavyweight class, you'll have to learn how to use the drift, because turning is a little more difficult for these big guys. On every turn, you should try to drift around it. That fills up the turbo meter and you'll actually gain some ground when turning that corner. You won't slow down when you're drifting. Use some other tricks when you can. You'll see that there are some jumps. When you're in the air, use that control stick to flip forwards, backwards, or sideways. Make sure you do it high up in the air so when you land, you land on those tires. Ah, happy landings, man. The driving backwards trick will give you the most turbo as you do it. You'll be surprised how quickly you master driving backwards. Now the left and right is reversed, but you'll get used to that. After racing through a track a couple times, you'll anticipate those straightaways. When you're going straight, you should always drive backwards. Always build that turbo. That's the trick in Cars 2 that will help you win. Whoa, awesome. This game is great because there's so many things to do. You have to find shortcuts, you have to learn all those tricks. There are so many characters to unlock, so many weapons to master, and different kinds of races, so there are many different things to do. One of the funny things about Fillmore is that when somebody tries to bump him or ram him off the road, he tells them to respect his space, man. But then when he does it, he says, nothing personal. I find that really funny. Now notice all the drifting on this track. Your friends will lose speed through those turns, but you won't because you're going to drift through each one. As soon as you're done with that turn, you hit that turbo button because you've built turbo because you drifted. <laughs> hey, take it easy. Here's a shortcut. The first time you saw this shortcut, there was a big exploding barrel in the way. Well, I hit that, so now I have a clear way through. You might want to try to avoid those barrels, though. There's a shortcut around this turn, but in this case, I skipped it. Because drifting around the track itself is actually a better idea because it builds you more turbo and you don't lose that much speed. So sometimes you'll see that taking a shortcut isn't always the best idea. If you can build turbo over taking a shortcut, build that turbo. And I always have a victory trick. I like to jump up at the end and flip around. First place! This video was proudly brought to you by VideoGamesProfile.com. Visit our website today for more information, great deals and discounts on popular video games, and the latest gaming releases, and discover which video games will best suit your gaming requirements. VideoGamesProfile.com, the website designed to help you discover which video games are best for you.